Good morning, friends. Good morning. We are Debbie and Bob Nerft in Kirksville, Missouri. In this Thanksgiving week, I am refocusing my energy on gratitude, on recognizing that all I have, all my relationships, all my possessions, the ground I walk on, the air I breathe, the water I drink, the food I eat, all are gifts from God. James 1.17 says, Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights, who does not change like shifting shadows. It is all too easy for me to lose sight of this in my day-to-day -day life. Sometimes I take what I have for granted. I just don't recognize all the blessings that have been showered upon me. They're all around me, but I don't notice them any more than I pay attention to the color of the paint on my walls. Other times, I think I make the mistake of thinking that I somehow personally own all the things I have, that they belong to me. I don't remember that ultimately the earth and everything in it belongs to God. Psalm 24, verse 1. The earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. I think... Ultimately, this is the sin of pride, and it's a dangerous one. I'm thankful for seasons like Thanksgiving that call me to gratitude, reflection, and even repentance. The song Bob and I plan to sing today is a Harvest Thanksgiving song called We Plow the Fields and Scatter. It is in the Cokesbury Worship Hymnal and in many other hymnals, although it isn't in our United Methodist Hymnal. I first encountered this hymn in the musical Godspell, where the words were set to a different and equally beautiful tune. When I saw Godspell, I had no idea the words to this beautiful song had been written in the late 1700s. A German man named Matthias Claudius originally wrote the words to this hymn as a poem. He was the son of a pastor, but had fallen away from his faith for a while poverty and ill health caused him to return to God and he wrote a long poem describing a gathering of friends around a table feasting after the harvest had been gathered. Several years after the poem was written a British woman named Jane Campbell reworked the poem into a hymn of praise for God's provision in harvest bounty and care of creation. It also talks about our response to God's love and care, that God desires us to have humble, thankful hearts. So here is, we plow the fields and scatter. We plow the fields and scatter the good seed on the land. But it is fed and watered by God's almighty hand. He sends the snow in winter, the warmth to swell the grain. The breezes and the sunshine and the soft refreshing rain. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. Then thank the Lord, oh thank the Lord for all his love. He only is the maker of all things near and far. He paints the wayside flower, he lights the evening star. The winds and waves obey him, by him the birds are fed. Much more to us, his children, he gives our daily bread. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. Then thank the Lord, oh thank the Lord, for all his love. We thank thee then, O oh Father, for all things bright and good. The seed time and the harvest, our life, our health, our food. 
Accept the gifts we offer, for all thy love imparts. And what thou most desirest, our humble thankful hearts. All good gifts around us are sent from heaven above. Then thank the Lord, oh thank the Lord for all his love. Have a blessed Thanksgiving week.